The book we have coming out is called Marketing Metaphoria. And uh, it's really all about these deep metaphors and how they permeate our lives. Uh, it's based on a lot of things, stories we know ourselves, but also drawing from a lot of the ZMET studies we've done over time. We've done hundreds of studies in all across the globe, you know, 30 or 40 different countries, thousands and thousands of one-on-one -on -one interviews with participants. We've collected tens of thousands of images and metaphors. Now's the time to tell this story. We've got so many rich stories to tell, and we've been gracious. A lot of our clients have allowed us to use their studies. Some blinded. Some have allowed us freedom to talk you know, openly and explicitly about them and just had that luxury to do it and felt like there was just so much to share on this topic um, that will actually help marketers start to implement and use these deep metaphors themselves. They'll be able to see a bit of their situations, issues they're wrestling with, because the book spans so many different categories and so many different issues. In, in marketing, there's so much emphasis put on segmentations and trying to find, you know, okay, we've got, uh, you know, beverage X and we have, we've just discovered we have 20 different customer groups. So we need to go out and market 20 different ways to 20 different customer groups. And those are exaggerations, but the idea is what happens then is beverage X starts meaning 20 different things to 20 different people because you find that you've got so many different strategies created to talk to these people. You're focusing on what's making them different as customers rather than what's making them similar as customers. And what's making them similar as customers gets to these deep metaphors. There's about 16 of these deep metaphors uh, in life. Any issue we frame will have maybe three or four of these viewing lenses or deep metaphors to, ex to express it. Uh, one I often use, one of these deep metaphors, is this idea of balance. Um, we frame a lot of things in life in terms of balance. We've got uh, moral balance. Uh, when you eat cheesecake at midnight, and you feel really good about it at the time. And then what happens in the morning when you wake up? First thing you do is you have guilt set in. And you have guilt set in to, as a way to sort of get you back into balance. You did the crime. Now you're going to do the time. But everyone expresses work life in terms of this deeper frame of balance. And so someone might use a surface metaphor like, I worked all weekend. I just feel off kilter or I just feel out of whack, I had to work late last night, I don't feel right. Those are all surface metaphors. You're not literally off kilter or out of whack. You're just straight up as you were before. And sure enough, when you go on vacation, you come back from vacation, you might say something like, now I feel centered again. Again, you're not literally off center or centered, but that's an unconscious process in our mind that's telling us to use these surface metaphors. And the whole reason that happens gets back to this embodied cognition. The whole reason that happens is when we were little toddlers learning how to walk, and this is why they're human universals, because we've all learned to walk in the same way. Uh, when you start to learn how to walk, you'd take a couple steps, you'd fall over, you'd pull yourself back up, take another couple steps, fall over again. That was your mind, your mind learning this idea of physical balance and physical imbalance. So later on in life, when you, Lindsay, have your first work-life experience, your first job out there, and you have to work all weekend, you're using these cues, these metaphors, but your mind has said at some point, you, Lindsay, are going to use this deeper metaphor of balance to frame this experience. I'm not aware what deep metaphors I'm using for particular topics. That's what good, solid research will do and what ZMET's designed to do and you know, other ways to get at these deeper frames.